Welcome back to Dealing Together. First caller? I bought three sweaters to get the fourth free. Oh, you got fleeced. Next caller? I traded my old Samsung at AT&T for a new Samsung Galaxy S24 Plus and chose my plan. That's not a bad deal. It is not. Our best smartphone deals. Your choice of plan. Learn how to get the new Samsung Galaxy S24 Plus with Galaxy AI on us with eligible trade-in. AT&T. Connecting changes everything. Offers vary by device. Subject to change. S24 plus 256 gigabyte offer available for a limited time. Terms and restrictions apply. See att.com slash Samsung for details. What up, man? Welcome back to another episode of I Hate the Homies. Rock Teasy is who I be. Episode number 93. It's your boy Griff, a.k.a. Griff Stradamus, a.k.a. Mr. Go Blue, a.k.a. Jason the Jet Terry. Episode 93, Hall of Famer John Randall. How about that? We got to vet that. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> it's, it's, first of all, it's vet. It's not vet. <laughs> you didn't say vet. You go ahead and vet. You, you could probably fit inside of a vet. So yeah, we got a vet my new air freshener <laughs> while you worrying about my, my football jerseys. <laughs> We gotta vent that, blow the vent. We gotta vent that. I got all the vents on. We gotta vent that. Gotta vent that out. Gotta vent that out. Let the good air in, though. Somebody blow it out, man. Blow it out. Hey, bro. And it's your boy Super Dave. But guess what? Oh, no fair. Oh, it's that's all. so good. That's so good. Oh man, so uh, let's get it popping, y'all. We going uh, we got we got something new that we've been promoting called the Homie Hotline. Oh, yeah, this is where all of our homies out there that listen and follow the podcast can um, leave us messages, ask us questions about anything. It don't even have to be about sports. Uh, just go to the Instagram page, right? Social media. Click the link. Yeah, just click on. Yeah, go to I Hate the Homies on whatever, and then just click the link to the Homie Hotline, and you can uh, vent it out. Whatever Absolutely. you want to vent it. <laughs> <laughs> we gonna uh, definitely uh, talk about Cardi B saying she is no longer a feminist anymore, and uh, give mm. uh, our male opinions on her <laughs> on what she. What she's out there talking about. We, we got Still course March day. Madness. The tournaments, all brackets have been broken, but I must be proud. And uh, as a sports genius, I got a big announcement that I'm going to make about that. I think y'all going to appreciate this. And Uh-oh. then Dion Primetime Sanders is back in action, uh, talking about certain teams and certain teams that his da- his sons would or would not play for or could be a perfect fit or not. Uh, so we'll get into that as well. And a few other things. So stand tuned, man. It's uh, I Hate the Homies. Episode number 93 starts right now. Let's get it. You done messed up, A.A. Ron? Yeah, huh? I've been geeking for this broadcast. Got me in my bag because all they do is talk a lot of trash. Wait until I see them face to face off of this podcast. What you got to say now? Check the facts. Don't have a wrong stat. Oh. Rock to he a genius as a sport. Make Ricky smile, boy. Ricky smile. Super Davey Holly come up short on like it's Cowboys. Yeah. Always controversial. Griff call out plays. No rehearsal. Got me talking all in circles. I hate the homies. Uh, and Griff be laughing like it's funny. Like it's funny, funny. But they never bet no money. They my mans, but they throw me. Ah, I hate the homies. All right, before uh, we can't get started with this episode, man, without um, you know, putting our prayers out to what just happened in the city of Baltimore, Maryland. The bridge collapsed after a ship, a container ship, ran into it. Yeah. And you're from Baltimore. You, you're not from there, but you spent some time living in Baltimore, right, Griff? Yeah, I started comedy in D.C., then I moved to Baltimore, and then Frank Ski brought me to Atlanta. So I know I've been over that bridge, um, you know, going to New York. That's the way. That's that's north. So uh, Philly, everywhere else, that's how you get there from right there. And uh, to see that bridge come down, man, I been fighting tears all morning, but just wanted to send our condolences and prayers to the people. You know, I know a lot of people that are afraid to go over bridges, right? And I always thought that was a, oh, are you? I'm one yeah, so one. seeing that bridge can't be, I'm, I'm sure that didn't, that was a trigger to the first thing you probably said was see. Yep. I, all well, I remember is, I don't know if you guys remember back in the day, uh, the big earthquake in, 
in uh, 1989. It yeah. was the Bay, the Bay Bridge, and it was during the World Series. The World Series, exactly. And all I remember is seeing those cars going across the bridge and not make it on the other side. I said, I can't do it. I just can't do bridges. Even even when I go home, it's a bridge by my house, and I hate going over that bridge every single day. Mm. Well, that's, I don't that's, look down. I don't so, look down. I look straight ahead. The thing that's that's throwing me off is they say the power, the, the boat lost power. And for 60, for 60 seconds, that's what for, they're saying. Yeah, so it couldn't turn. And of it course, you got yeah, a current, couldn't maneuver. Couldn't maneuver. the current is shifting the, the ship as it's coming up to this bridge, and it just mm-hmm. there's nothing they can do about it. But that bridge is like over like a mile and a half long. Can you imagine redirecting traffic? In the city, right but, now, like right now, like, yes. yeah, that happened at about one thirty-six in the morning. So that's a huge. I mean, that man, I'm talking about right now. Like yeah, nothing is happening. But see, uh, going just, in that direction. But just think, if it happened at six o'clock or seven o'clock rush hour, it would have been, been way about more that people. Bridge, it would have been I'm way more traffic. I, I, that's the point. I don't even want to think about area. that. Yeah. I don't want to think about that, man. That's that's sad. So yeah, our our prayers going out to the city yeah. of Baltimore and those that um uh actually there was what seven cars that was on the bridge at the time of the collapsing. Yeah, it was about twenty one people that were missing. I think they they found three people um so far. So we'll we'll get more stats on that, and y'all will get them. Uh, by the time you hear this podcast, so again, just our prayers for the people in Baltimore and the people. Who, you know, would normally go home at that time in the morning and didn't go home today. Absolutely. Okay, check this out, man. It's your boy, Rock T. I got a special message for students or parents who have students looking to attend an HBCU. Now, just imagine $1 million in scholarships with 107 HBCUs to choose from for 66 truly deserving HBCU students. But there's only one way to get your hands on it. McDonald's has partnered with the Thurgood Marshall College Fund to award a $1 million in scholarships to brilliant HBCU students. This year, you could be next. But Time is running out. Oh, did I mention the $1 million in scholarships? Apply by March 27th at tmcf.org. So let's shift into uh, the homie hotline, man. So this is something new that we added to the podcast and we're excited about. And I believe this will be our first person that left a message on the I Hate the Homies hotline. Let's see. Hey, man, this is Kyle Vaughn. Uh, I always look out for the video on YouTube. Derrick Henry in Baltimore. I want to know you guys' thoughts. Who want to go first? Right, let me start. Because this is, the, this is the biggest thing. The Cowboys had him in their own backyard. Derrick Henry lives in Dallas. Doing the oh, do he? Really? Yes. The Cowboys ain't trying to? He lives, he lives in Dallas during the offseason. He practices or practices in Dallas during the offseason. You had him in your own backyard. You need a running back because you just lost who? Tony Pollard to the Titans. Still so now Derrick Henry. Yeah. Derrick Henry, who close to 10,000 yards uh, through his career. Yeah. Even with one team with the Titans. Now going to Baltimore with Lamar Jackson as your quarterback. This takes pressure off Lamar Jackson. You the have mo- a running back. <laughs> the mo- running back. Yeah. A yeah. running back that when he gets to the second level, nobody's gonna bring him down. The play action is the play action just went up a thousand percent in Baltimore. And not only does he help uh Lamar over there, but he also um defensive defensives defensives. Defense, listen, we need to vent it out. Defense, I back my word. <laughs> they have feared him for the last minute and nothing changes. He's a giant, he's a uh, a Humvee coming <laughs> downhill. <laughs> it's, it's nothing but good. If you're a Baltimore Raven fan, you are ecstatic about that trade. Let me tell you something. Um, Comeback player of the year? I mean, he didn't have the Derrick Henry year of pass last year, but this is the comeback player of the year, man. He's going to be in behind that offensive line. 
that Baltimore has. Oh man, yeah. Just do. I'm not gonna say they got their tight end back. Yeah, they I ain't got, gonna say yeah. two thousand yards, but he gonna get fifteen hundred yards this year. You know what I'm saying? He should Ooh. get fifteen hundred yards if they don't become dumb when they get to the playoffs and stop running the damn ball. Oh, they gonna run the ball now. They okay. gonna run the ball now. He gonna run get his ball. twenty-five carries a game. Trust me. <laughs> so, you just made Lamar Jackson's job a little bit easier, but now it's more pressure on him now for Lamar to win a championship. Yeah, because now it ain't no excuse. We there's got no you a excuse. running back. You got yeah, there's no excuse. Yeah, it's all on him now. We got one more call. Let's see. Griff. I want to know your thoughts on Michigan acquiring the Ohio State running backs coach. Oh, the, here go my easy thought. Good. Ohio State running backs have been wrecking us for the last 25 years. <laughs> Actually, last season was the first time we had a better running back than Ohio State in a couple decades. I'm not even laughing. I think that is an amazing, I think that's a huge loss for the Buckeyes, but big game for Michigan. That was it, simple. He asked us, so uh, there you go. <laughs> yeah, how about that? <laughs> And and, and and what are we getting into this Cardi B? Yeah, let's get into the Cardi B situation. So once again, okay. if you guys want to leave us a message on the homie hotline, Griff, how do they do it? They can click on the link that's on all everything. Click on the link, leave your message. We got you. How about that? Let's hear what Cardi any, B is out ask here ask saying. Any question. Ask you any, ask any question. Yeah, don't have nothing. It could be it could be not about sports. It could be it's whatever. Have some fun. You can ask you Super Dave. Uh, where, you can ask Super Dave where he get his uh, education from. Talking about let's vent. That. <laughs> <laughs> I want to know. I want to know what teachers taught you back in the day. <laughs> right. What a straight place. <laughs> and in his mind, in his kid mind, with a light, with a with a oh, light great. bulb over him, he said, "I'm gonna I, save that when I grow <laughs> up." One day. I love Mr. Chandler. <laughs> Cardi B coming up next, man. We're going to give you our thoughts and opinions on what she talking about, man. Let's go. Okay, check this out, man. It's your boy Rock T. I got a special message for students or parents who have students looking to attend an HBCU. Now, just imagine $1 million in scholarships with 107 HBCUs to choose from for 66 truly deserving HBCU students. But there's only one way to get your hands on it. McDonald's has partnered with the Thurgood Marshall College Fund to award a $1 million in scholarships to brilliant HBCU students. This year, you could be next, but time is running out. Oh, did I mention the $1 million in scholarships? Apply by March 27th at tmcf.org. I feel like it's very controversial when, like, be like, oh, I don't go 50-50, but it's like, all right. So if you and your man make the same amount of, of money, right? But only your man is the one that's paying all the bills. How y'all ever going to save up to, like, buy a house? Because he's never going to be able to afford to. Like the internet really be having people f***ed up from like real reality. So 50-50, she said you and your man make the same amount of money. And if he always paying 50-50, how you going to save for a house? No, she's saying if he's always paying for everything, how is he going to save for a house? Yeah. That's what she's saying. So, but look, man, it's here's how me and Crystal handle our, our money. We... We don't count like, okay, you did that part, so I'm going to do this part. Or you do all these, and yeah. I'm going to do this. You know, all our money is together. Now, she has her own personal account. I have a personal account. We have a, we have a, a account together. But everything go into that account to take care of the bills, and it, it, it doesn't matter on who's doing what. And when it's time to buy a house or make any kind of investment or do anything, make big purchases, Major. whatever it is, yeah. okay, we talk it out and say, okay, well, here's the money. Let's let's budget and let's make it happen. It's we we just keep it simple. I right. mean, it's, it's it's not. I don't think it's about who's doing what, and he should do this, and she should do that, or whatever. That's that's just us. I don't know how y'all operate. We're gonna we gonna let uh, uh male chauvinist uh, Dave go last. Uh, I am also with you, Rock. Uh, my wife has. We have an account together that we pay everything with, um, and then I have an account. I'm going for this goal: fifty thousand saved by July first. Right. It's just a goal I'm reaching for. I got about 20 already, so I feel good at my pace. And just saying it 
and actually, you know, letting the whole universe know I'm trying, I'm saving 50,000 by June 1st. You'd be and amazed. You'd be amazed on how fast you can get there when you stop spending your money on stupid stuff that yo, you don't need. Yo, I'm talking I, about. So, so now I, I got this whole other account just to save. And then I got me and my wife's account, but then I'm saving also inside that account. So it's just teaching me a whole different. I'm, I'm, I'm with you. We, we, we do everything together. Super Dave, nobody pays the bill except. <laughs> well, no, no, I'm, I am not like that. Oh, okay. It, I Who think they share the money in your house. Now, my wife take care of the money. All, All right. the money goes into one account, the joint account. Right. I'm just like you guys. I have my own personal. She has our own personal. We get an allowance from that joint like that. account. I'm 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 big on the allowance thing. Yeah. I like that. And that, and that I like so that. you can go do what you want to do with that money, no questions asked. And the same thing I can do to, I can do what I want to do with the money. I don't think it ever should be where one person takes care of staying in the house because when that person dies, what's gonna happen? Who's going to take well, care of it then? What's going to happen is my wife is going to uh, not know nothing because she don't pay nothing. She don't know the bills. She don't know passwords. She just know. <laughs> so you're right. Yeah. One day I'm not going to tell her everything. Like she don't like. It, if should I be, not, it, should be, it should be 50 50. But a lot of women today, a lot of women today don't want it to be 50 50. They think the guy should take care of everything. Everything. Well, do women really say that? Because I know grown, I know grown women and mature women. I don't know. I don't even trust these twenty. Anybody under twenty four. That's what I'm talking you about. You can't even write in cursive. I don't yeah. trust nothing you say. You don't even know what a difference between a cursive lowercase Q and a, <laughs> and a lowercase P look right. like. So I'm not really. I don't really care. But I'm talking about grown women, forty plus. Are grown women really saying a man got to take it? Like, I, I just don't believe this. It's so, I'm telling you, Grip. It's well, so I know weird. they out there. Don't yeah. get me wrong. Yeah, it's so they weird. out there. there. They definitely out there. <laughs> I think I think the biggest thing is, okay, well, like, when y'all first got in, got in your relationship and you got married, or even before you got married, when y'all went on a date, was it 50-50 or did you take care of everything? Took care of everything. Yeah. I'm a man. Yeah. And Absolutely. then we're dating and we're courting and yeah. you know what I'm saying? And, 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 and if you ain't got a hundred dollars on you and a date, you don't need to be dating. Like yeah. that's just the bottom line. Like now when we get married and car, you know, I make the bulk of the money, but my mm -hmm. wife got a job too. So she liked to put in, she liked to pay some bills. Like, you know what I'm saying? And then she liked to also have her, well, she ain't. She don't do her hair. She got locks, but she like to get her nails done and go to spa and buy some shoes if she feel like it. You know, yep. I, but but do you do? So this is what I do. I put all the money. We get paid on the tenth and the twenty fifth. Mm -hmm. On the tenth and the twenty fifth, I put money in the savings. So whatever I put over here, don't touch, and then have all that. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of that is the mortgage, the car note, the insurance, the, you know what I'm saying? I'm just moving stuff. So, and I think that's, that, that has become a really good system for us. But if she started looking at these Apple charges, when I've been paying money to play Monopoly Go, she's going to be mad. <laughs> yeah, that's no. why I'm glad she ain't in charge of, now I hope she don't listen. I'm going to tell her, uh, oh, this was a stupid episode. You don't have to listen to it, but hey. Just don't get me just playing Monopoly Go. Thirty dollars <laughs> in, forty dollars. Hey, just don't get busted and, and uh, say, "Okay, we all agree. Okay, we gonna stop buying stupid things because we know what we're about to get ready to do over here with, with yeah. investing and stuff like that. So we're gonna shut down all stupid purchases until yeah. we build enough wealth to buy stupid purchases. So right. we'll go through these phases, but then don't get busted." When you think you're trying to be slick and buy some J's, uh, and they be like, and then they hit you with the phone and go, the, the credit card oh, yeah. pop up. Uh, babe, what's this? What's this? Uh, what's this new balance? <laughs> what's this? What's this? Hey, one got, what's this? I pay cash for that. <laughs> you see me? Y'all see me? I ain't saying nothing because I ain't telling no cash for that. I ain't, 
I ain't saying nothing. I'm not saying not one thing. You mean to tell me I can't hey, get my nails hey, done? Wife, I can get my yo, hair done? Man, I can't. and I'm the one. <laughs> I know you ain't going to get an umbrella. I know. <laughs> Meanwhile, $40, $40 for more houses. Yeah. <laughs> Be like, man, it's <laughs> over. And then you gotta let you gotta go ahead and let her have her little low. Go ahead and, and you buy gotta eat it, and then yeah. be like, "Well, go ahead and get the stupid sundress you go get." Why well, gotta, well, gotta be stupid? Why gotta be stupid? Oh, you trying to hide it? Hey, then put the you hid the joints in the back of the closet and got clothes. Well, 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 well. Look at Amazon back of the house again. <laughs> oh man! <laughs> so oh, there God. you go, man. It is what it is. 100%, 100%. That's how me and Crystal roll together. It is what it is, dog. So You are right, though. I do probably need to sit my wife down and tell her. I'm telling you. You do. Because when we, we not, we don't live forever. Of course not. So eventually. Well, when I die, you, you, you need to die, too. (laughs) Because I ain't here. I, you're on your own, Jack. <laughs> <laughs> I told my, I told my wife the other day. I said, when I die, I said I'm gonna come back to haunt you. I promise you, because I don't want to see no other guy with you. I told my wife. I said, if you die before me, I'm gonna date a witch so she can put, <laughs> so she can make sure you can't come back. <laughs> We're gonna have stalled around the house and all kind of <laughs> penance <laughs> message. Yes. So let's let's jump into uh Dion Prime Time Sanders. Uh he recently said we can we, we can he said something about uh his, his son Shadur Sanders and of course uh Travis Hunter won't play for certain NFL teams in Let's hear. Let's let's get all the details of what he said, and then we can throw you our personal opinions on how we how we uh, respond to that. That's gonna that's next on the I Hate the Homies podcast. Let's get. It. Okay, check this out, man. It's your boy Rock T. I got a special message for students or parents who have students looking to attend an HBCU. Now, just imagine one million dollars in scholarships with 107 HBCUs to choose from for 66 truly deserving HBCU students. But there's only one way to get your hands on it. McDonald's has partnered with the Thurgood Marshall College Fund to award a million dollars in scholarships to brilliant HBCU students. This year you could be next but time is running out oh did i mention the one million dollars in scholarships apply by march 27th at tmcf.org where do you predict shador and travis going in the draft top four Ooh, that's pretty beautiful anywhere from one through four one of them is going to be one mm. that's mm. what i'm talking about one of them is going to be one. into existence and the, the, the latter one would not go behind four Mm. Now, all this is subjective because I know where I want, kind of want them to go. Mm-hmm. And let's not forget Shallow, okay? Mm-hmm. But I know where I want them to go. So in certain cities that ain't, ain't gonna happen. Gonna okay, you want point? It's gonna be, a, it's not a, I'm sorry, it's gonna be an Eli. Where do you now, for the people who don't know, Eli, what happened there, Here's here's what's funny. Eli, when Eli was drafted, the we talking about the, Eli Manning. The Giants, yeah, the Giants actually picked uh, Philip Rivers, right? Yeah, Philip Rivers, yeah, from who who went and spent nineteen years maybe with the San Diego Chargers or something. But uh, Eli, Daddy said he wasn't going to San Diego, straight up. <laughs> well, San Diego <laughs> drafted Eli. Yeah, that's what I mean. Switch. And then yeah, Eli the and then switch. Archie said Eli not playing there. But they he knew that before the they knew that before the drive even started. Right. Eli, I mean, uh Art, he already had it in his mind that he did not want to. Do y'all coach. remember the reason why he ain't wanting to go Eli to go to San Diego? The big apple about just the bigger stage when you play in uh New York and a better yeah, but- a better a better organization. That's the way he was looking at it back then. I'm about to yeah. say because you know Peyton. Went to freaking Indianapolis, and that ain't a huge market. It was a, yeah, no. I picked San Diego over Indianapolis if I had to, like for real. But even he what? wasn't, but even he wasn't the first. Remember John Elway? Oh, John yeah. Elway. What happened with John Elway? It was, it was the Colts 
drafted him. He did yeah, not want to the Colts, and he went to the Denver Broncos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So that well, let's was talk the about the time. elephant in the room. Uh, his th- th- these two young men going number one and no less than number four. Sports okay. genius. <laughs> you I'll first, go first. Dog. I'll go first. If out out of the two, I can see Travis Hunter being being a top three pick. I can see Travis Hunter by the time he's done with his career being a top three you pick. Got two he, more seasons or one? Yeah, um, one. one more. One yeah, more. he does have one. So yeah, this one, is this is a senior more. year. Both but of do, them. do they get a do they get a COVID year if they choose to? Yeah, they they. they, they I, I think they. Year. I thought they did. Yeah, I thought yeah. they did. So, so, that means Trav- they, that, so that means they can play college football until 30 years old. <laughs> or, 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 or beating Bo Nix's record. <laughs> right. Man. 39, still in college. <laughs> <laughs> Whole beard and a mustache. Yeah, man. Bo, I, I thought Bo was a senior when he came out of Auburn. Like, geez. And, and Michael Penix Jr., the same thing. <laughs> they both old. But I can see I can see Travis being being a top three pick, man. He got to, uh, of course, he got to put some weight on. But they said the same I was about thing to about say, little fella to play defense. What's he going in the NFL as? Rock? I, I think he's going to go as a two way player. He's he's going to be drafted as a multi as a two way player. We all know his defense. I mean, look, his offense and defense are both just the same. He's a solid player. Are you saying special team dude? Uh, who they put in at uh at at, at the the little he'll, post? He'll be a, he'll be a slot, he'll be a slot, slot, he'll be a slot yeah. receiver on offense, a receiver and, and cornerback, and a cornerback. Yeah, I mean, I can see him being top three now. Shadour, I like Shadour. He's he 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 has developed a yeah, no number one quarterback, quarterback. But I, he's not a number one. I hate to say he's no. not a number one. I mean, well, is, is he a first rounder? Think about school right now. Who's the who's next with everybody in the NFL right now? Like who's really who's who's out there? Like if you get tell me it's, two because I can't even hard. think of two. It's too it's too early right now, man. Because everybody no, you know, but somebody stayed. Everybody ain't go to the NFL. Like who is okay? You got who's Quinn, yours, Oklahoma. Quinn, Quinn yours at te, uh, at Texas. Yes. You got the, you got the starting quarterback for, and I know you guys are going to shake your head on this one, Jalen Milrow for Alabama. Yeah, he's yeah, okay. he's he's up there. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll take I'll take Carson Shadour over Beck, him. Carson Beck from uh from the Georgia Bulldogs. They like Carson Beck. They pushing him hard. Yeah, you're right. You're Dylan, right. Okay. Thirty nine year old Dylan Gabriel, who's now playing the Oregon next year. He's still playing. Jeez. Oh. Oh, he left Oklahoma and went to Oregon. Le- that dude is that dude is riding the portal system. That dude. Yes. So I mean, I mean, Shador. Shador okay, now that you say that, right? <laughs> you know, <laughs> right. Shador, Shador may they both may be in the top five. Then I mean, he may he may be on to some because look, Shador has developed to an amazing quarterback. Like. Is is he's with some with offensive line? No, he's good, man. I can't wait to see him with an offensive, with offensive line. line let me tell y'all something, man. He's 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 the real deal. Of course, he's being tutored and taught by the greatest of all time, Tom mm-hmm. Brady. So his his mental game as a quarterback is more important. Than yeah, he already game. has a very very high uh, NFL IQ. Yes, yeah, so, so very, look, very let me let me retract my statement. Them two players, I can see them both going in the top five. Now, whether either of them go number one, I would probably take Travis Hunter uh, over Shadour as a number one pick. Look, I don't mind Dion covering up his son. And as you up, should. As right. You should. And Travis Absolutely. Hunter, th- these are his players. I have no problem with that. I mean, but to really say top top four for both of these guys. And then also, he also mentioned in there, they're going to go to certain cities. Yeah. Certain cities they won't go to. Well, you're going, to the NFL, you're going to the NFL because he said he brought the Eli Manning thing. The, what, the first thing we talked about when we talked about this segment about Eli, what he did from going from San Diego to the New York Giants. I don't see players doing that. I mean, to me, you got to be at the top. You got to be like a Caleb Williams, what he's doing right now uh, in Chicago. But he still, didn't, he still can't pick and choose what team he's going to. He's well, going to Chicago. I think there's a rule that, and don't quote me on this, but if you get drafted, you have a right to not accept 
signing a yeah, contract yeah, I'm, with that I'm team. Sure, I'm sure you can. Yeah, you can say, I don't want to play for them. What's that? Super Dave, what you say? No, what did you say, Super Dave? I said, what? But what do you do then? If you if you decline where you're going, what do you well, do? Hopefully, Sit out of you here? had a backup plan, and you was talking to another. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think the hopefully team you and another team said, as long as you say no, we got you on the next pick. Like I, I, I would hope that was so your plan. Like if 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 you tell a team don't draft you because you don't want to play for your organization, that organization, then, then and they that already team still draft. Right. They, most of the time they won't draft you, but if they still they go ahead and draft you, that means they have your rights and then they can use that to trade you to, to another trade team. Trade you to somebody else, Jack. Absolutely. Yep. Now, did, did, they, did Dion do that too? When when he came out of Florida State, he made he he mentioned that certain teams should even look at him. He yeah, been he saying that. that. Yeah, yeah, he yeah. been saying that. He don't want to be he ain't want to play with nobody, sorry. So right. I get that part, but I feel like you don't get to skip the sorriness like this. That's all in it. Hey, man. I, I just hate the way, and I ain't just speaking about Dion and what, because we've said it, we're sitting in college football. We're sitting even in the NFL now. Things are changing. I don't think you're going to have that much clout like you do in college in the NFL because the NFL is just a bigger game. The NFL is the shield. You're never bigger than the shield. We've seen that. Tom Brady wasn't bigger than the shield. So I don't think anybody could just come in and say what they really what they want to do. Well, Dion got Dion got juice with the owners and the coaches, and he's making his side. He know, let me tell you something. Dion ain't gonna randomly let his son go with nobody straight up. And and guess what? I love it. And I and and Shador will be amazing in the league. He he. He's from a great stock. Nobody's taking that away from him. We just want to see him not get sacked every other play. Right. So <laughs> that's, uh, that's gonna be fixed. But I don't know. Let me, let me back up, Super Dave. I think I think Tom Brady may be bigger than the shield. I was gonna, <laughs> I was gonna say that. I, and think, I, was like, yeah, I, I, I think Tom Brady may be bigger than the shield, but man. Why, but why would you say he's bigger than the shield? Give me the one point because you look at what happened with the. Uh, how do it's kind of like it's kind of like the let's deflated get, balls. What happened? He got suspended for the deflated balls, right? Well, the but same way that Michael Jordan so had to retire long, for two years. Yeah. <laughs> Jordan had to retire for two years because his father was, you yeah, know, he took right. it. It was all because of the gambling situation. Come on, man, it is what it is. Just go go away for a couple of years and we we bring you back. It is what it is. The same way Michael Jordan was bigger than the NBA. I feel like Tom Brady was bigger than the NFL. There's you feel like was- what? Tom Brady could have said, I think I'll play with Cincinnati. Oh, Tom Brady could have picked exactly what team he wanted to play for. And that, and that, 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 that team, team. team would have took him like this, like a baby with his hands in the air. Yeah, so look, if it would have been Cincinnati, would have said, hey, Joe, let me, let me tell you something, son. Uh, Tom coming, and we want him. So, so just go ahead and sit back for this uh, one year, or whatever. This season, just chill. Just but I, guess, I guess what I'm saying is, you got a lot of kids trying to change things. You look at, you look at what we've seen so far. You got some high school players now. I don't know if you guys saw that. Some high school players don't. Even, that, these players are not playing their senior year. You lying to me, dog? No, I'm not. Yeah, they're not true. playing. They're not playing their senior year. They're getting ready because they know they're going to the next level, which is college. Yeah. And then you got you see what happens in college. We've seen this over the last few years when the college bowl season happens. What happens? They don't Guys play the bowl. Out. Yeah, yep. but I'll take that. I understand that better than you having an amazing junior year, and then we only got tape on you as a junior. But now here, this senior, we just found this senior in Louisiana who beat all your records, <laughs> and that's where that's where it's getting crazy because like Marvin Harrison Jr. Didn't go to the combine, right? Right. He didn't go to the combine. He said, "What you guys have right now?" He didn't have a pro day, right? No. At least Caleb had a pro day. Caleb he had a pro day. Yeah. yeah, yeah. He didn't work out at the combine, but he had a pro day. But the he big didn't need no pro day. His pro but day was what? when he put Marvin on that Harrison dog's football field every week. And that's Marvin Harris is going two or three in yeah. the, the NFL draft. The top, the top five players are saying this: "You got tape." Let me tell you something, bro. Let me tell you something. Let me, let me break down. Let me break down the. Uh, yeah, let me break down the combine for you. The combine was is, was designed originally for the players 
that wasn't top tier players. Agreed. These are, these are the other players that's second and third tier. That's yeah, like, okay, they want you to see them. Let's bring them in and get a closer look. But all the dogs, we are, they already knew what they man. Come on, that's not what the combine is for. But I then, like that. But did y'all also hear what Dion said? Going back to the Dion thing, he also said was. I want a place where, especially talking about Shador, a place where he doesn't have to play in the cold. No, well, there go, there go 20, 20. Okay. <laughs> I mean, come on, man. Well, he mentioned Dallas, Washington, Baltimore, and who else? Was that anybody? It? That was in San Francisco. San Francisco. In San Francisco? They got their quarterback. Yeah, they got yeah. their quarterback now. Dallas might need a quarterback down the line. Because they, they didn't uh, have him restructured uh, Dak's contract, so he's playing really on a one-year deal. But if you notice, out of out of the places that he that he named, other than Washington, all those teams have quarterbacks as of right now. That's probably going to yeah. be around for a few more years. That so that's Dion saying, okay, Shador, we ain't gonna just throw you in the league and and start like yeah off the because we want you to learn we want you to kind of get better maybe take a year or two and learn under somebody because now you yeah because now you want to say um 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 now i ain't listening i ain't listening to my dad ain't my coach no more but because my dad was my coach i'm better for it you know what i mean but now you got to pass that you got Dion is going to have to relinquish that to uh, uh, a head coach but Dion ain't relinquishing it to anybody right i agree but then also let things happen naturally oh no but, but, well, it, you, sound like, you sound like somebody who don't play dice I'm no, just, what i'm, I'm saying just, is I'm a joe burrow line. you think joe burrow after winning the national championship he really wanted to go to cincinnati he had great success at cincinnati they won the super bowl they lost to the rams but let things happen but it's the naturally. same boy though super dave you the number one pick coming out of college me and Rock T is saying, come to my, come to the Raiders need you. Come to the Raiders. You can be the, we'll make you, you they'll never remember Jim Plunkett in them no more. They'll only say Super Dave. Oh man, that sounds good. Come to Baltimore. We, we Lamar Jackson, like it, everybody is just shooting a shot. Everybody. Right. Every you like a fine that. girl. Psst, psst, <laughs> this lady. <laughs> hey. Hey, you, you with the red bottoms. Like, <laughs> yeah, that's how it is, man. Shoot. But everybody I mean, hollering at you. You like a you like a girl going to the bathroom at the club with a bunch of dudes. <laughs> right setting, I just think it's setting football back a little bit. Just like, look what we're No, you know what's setting football back is that now you can't tackle people when oh you almost God. tackled oh. them. So let's talk about that real fast before we shift gears. Yes. The NFL, once again, is changing some rules. Now, I'm okay with rules that's going to make the game obviously exactly. safer. Like Over the, times the, and... the, the, the helmet-to-helmet contact and all right. that, because that's your brain, that's your head. I get all that. But now the horse collar, okay, I was even cool with that because the horse collar can break some, some legs could, and all it that could, stuff. It can make your neck go a different way. And, again, yeah. it's an injury that you wouldn't have had to have a gr- so, agreed. Explain this new non-tackling rule, sir. Dave? So the NFL, they're having their winter uh, winter meetings right now, and they came up with this logic about, I don't know if you guys saw the, the – They winter meet, they spring meetings. They spring meetings, but you saw the football play um, two years ago in the playoffs, Dallas against the 49ers in San Francisco. Remember the play, you, Do you remember the play Pollard got hurt on? It was Ward tackling him inside the 10 yard line and when he he wrapped he wrapped him up by the waist right, he right. The hips but he put all his all his weight toward the back end on the back side of uh Pollard right and right that's how Pollard messed up his uh ankle yeah doing and that then, uh, I and think uh, that tackle yeah it's, it's a it's a tackle I it's, agree it's been a, it's been quite a few players that have gotten hurt being tackled that same exact way to their point of why they're changing the rule, the tackle rule. But here's the deal. This is so a, as this it is, physical. Rock. I go to tackle you, you running past me, kind of. Right. I, I I can barely get the angle, so I can just grab you. By your I'm hip. putting my whole body around your belt, your right. waist, where your, your waist, belt right? buckle is. Yeah. As you're still trying to move, I'm falling down. 
I'm wanting you to come down with me. That's now a flag? It's 15-yard penalty, yard start. penalty. Yeah. Jesus. It, 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 right. like, so it's like, look, now it's like you almost got to let them go, and the runner is going to keep scoring and get more yardage or whatever. It's like you can't even tackle a person. You might as well. This might as well just be the flag football or two hand touch below the waist. No, you, what you just said, it should be flag football. That's what we're going to. So look, we get it. It's a violent sport. It's very physical. Yes, oh, players are going to get hurt. It's just part of the nature of the game in the sport. Players are going to get hurt. But you take you, you, the game is changing. Like defensive players, defensive backs can't even put their hands on on offensive wide receivers no more. I mean, this it's not even fun to watch. Like football is not even fun to watch no more, Hardy man, because all these penalties and all these rule changes, and it's like that's why I'm really? about to be into this USXL or whatever it's called that's starting next week. Old with, school football. Let them play. Let I know you gotta go, homie. We gotta get out of here. Um, when we come back, we're gonna talk about March Madness and we'll wrap it up. All right, man. So we're gonna get ready to wrap up, but we can't stop without talking about March Madness because uh madness has been happening since uh tip off in men and women but i'm proud to say all four of my final fours i'm sorry both of my final fours all my teams are still in it in the men and on the women's side so it is what it is so the bracket here go my bracket for the men right you see it's all filled out yeah here go my bracket for the women it just say South Carolina. In the middle of the <laughs> That's what Mark says, South Carolina. <laughs> well, and, and man, shout out and to the- Coach Dan, Dawn Staley for being Coach of the Year, too. Uh, yeah, I, nobody's going to be South Carolina this year. They got they got knocked out last year by that girl, Caitlin, Car- uh, Caitlin Clark. But this Tell year... Tell me who the Sweet 16... Who's in the Sweet 16? Let me just see if I was anywhere close. <laughs> uh let's see man you got let me pull it up real fast so i can give you the accurateness of everything because i feel like my even though i picked duke to win it all but i feel like my sweet 16 is kind of close is that what you're, you're talking about in men or women or men and yeah, go to the men all right so sweet 16 you got a day or where we at boom yeah i'm going to the brackets now you got uconn and san diego state Okay, uh-huh. I had you. I got you gone and UConn. I had Auburn. I got you come winning it all, so my team is still in there. Okay, Illinois, Ohio State. I got oh, okay, I you got Illinois. Iowa State. I, no, I, I, Iowa, I, Iowa State. I got Illinois, Iowa State. I feel good about that. Go ahead, North Carolina, Alabama. I got them too. Go ahead, Clemson, Arizona. I got them too. Come on, <laughs> I, better, I gotta look at that. I gotta, I gotta vet that. <laughs> I got Houston and Duke. I got them, dog. I should have just played the Sweet 16. <laughs> Go North ahead. Car- this way might get tricky. North Carolina State. Marquette. 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 Yeah, I had Kentucky, Hold Florida. On. Did you just say Marquette, dog? Yeah, he did. Oh, uh, yes, it is. The, the oh. Aquarius. Oh. <laughs> How much education have you had, dog? Marquette. That's what I call it. Marquette. That's what I'm calling it. Stick it yeah. him like that, you man. Stick it, you stick, you say it, and you believe it. Uh, All right. Then you got to do it. I had Kentucky, Kentucky and Florida. And what's next? Purdue, Gonzaga. I got Purdue and Kansas. Creighton, Tennessee. I had Oregon, Tennessee. So mine wasn't that messed up at all. Mm-hmm. Well, what about body. all the all the women made it? All the women that was supposed to win won. Uh, no, not all of them. Well, to, somebody lost in overtime, right? Yeah, Ole Miss lost to Notre Dame. Yes, and uh, but so the Sweet Sixteen and the women, you got South Carolina, Indiana, Oregon yeah. State. And Notre Dame, Texas, and Gonzaga, North Carolina State, Stanford, Iowa, Colorado, LSU, UCLA. That's gonna be U- good. USC and Baylor. And that's UConn. gonna be even better. That's gonna be, good. That's gonna be, good. <laughs> that's gonna be even yeah. better. Uh, I don't know, man. I think USC gonna handle Baylor pretty good. But I, I'm thinking that too, Juju. UConn and Duke. That's so, gonna be amazing. My final four. Here's where everybody is kind of. Uh, going at me on social media because I got the champs 
being beat by UCLA. I got LSU getting knocked out in the Sweet 16 round by UCLA. Indeed. That's not – that's believable. Okay, I'm, I'm just saying, but everybody's like, man, you – now, I love it. I love we LSU. Know next week. It is what it see. is, man. It is. So my final four is South Carolina, Texas, Iowa, and UConn in who the women's it, side. Who's the champ in uh in the men's tournament? Uh, I got UConn. I, I, got UConn. I got UConn playing Arizona and Duke playing Kansas. So that's all the way wrong. I've been wrong. But I feel good about this woman's bracket, though. <laughs> Did y'all watch any of the uh, men's basketball over the weekend? Uh, um, I watched I, watch I actually sat and watched. I text y'all and asked y'all, was we all watching the game? Oh, I watched the North. I watched the Houston game. I watched yeah. Houston. Oh, my God. That was like pulling teeth. All the oh. damn fouls in that game. Yeah. God, no. Yeah. I told it you, was- Houston, Houston got a good defense. But if they can't score, they in trouble. Well, let's talk about the fouls because these referees need to swallow their whistles. I get it, man. If a good referee is someone that disappears throughout the game, only call the obvious hard fouls. All well, this, yeah, that, Iowa that girl, players play. Caitlin was doing a lot the other day, and the, the refs was – she's so dramatic. To me, she the queen of the flop. Like, oh, yeah, she's she so flop dramatic flop. that now – Every time somebody deeds are up too good, they got to worry about the ref saying, "Oh, oh, oh don't touch Caitlyn." Yeah, Easy that, that, on Caitlyn. Yeah, she get she get that she get that Jordan rule sometimes or whatever. <laughs> yeah, well, who uh, it was our our state. Who was the girl at number fifty five? That's Iowa State, the big girl. Yeah, the big girl. Big points. Yeah, yeah. 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 Called it, man. Yes, y'all. She cold. She cold. Yeah. Man. Absolutely. So no, it's gonna be fun, man. And I, I'm pretty sure we ain't got accurate stats, but I'm pretty sure more people are watching the women's tournament than they are watching the men's tournament. Question, did your daughter, did they go to the NIT? No, nah, no, nah, they didn't get invited, man. So she, oh. she is bothered by that. Like, really? Oh, okay. Okay. So I don't know. I, I still ain't got a chance to, uh, to, re- to talk to her about that. I don't know if the coach decided they were just going to be good or if they didn't get invited. But either way, she, uh, she a little bothered by that. So. Tell her don't be bothered by it. I mean, uh, Griff already downed it already. What the NIT was? What'd you call NIT? Nobody's interested. Turn it. Okay, so I mean, tell them don't be, don't be that down about it. <laughs> they, they renamed it. It's actually it the WB. It was the NIT. The NIT was first. That yeah, was right. big March Madness, and then NCAA came with their money schemes again. <laughs> like, <laughs> about money. Everything's about money. Yeah, always about money. NCAA is dirty yeah. though. <laughs> they straight gangster. Yeah, <laughs> gangster. <dog. laughs> so there it is, man. We finna wrap up uh, once again. If you guys want to leave us a message, you can always DM us on social media, or you can go to our new homie hotline and leave a voice message. Click the link right there on the Instagram page. I hate the homies, or, or all across all social media platforms. Rock TZ is who I be. Maybe we'll get something from Vince Young this this week coming up. Oh man, he got knocked. Did Vince out Young get mopped up at a bar? Yeah, he got into it with somebody <laughs> and they got knocked him out in the club in Houston. We got questions for Vince Young, man. Come on, hit us, Vince. We got questions for you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what's going on. They say it was race related, but dog on it. Well, yeah. if it was race related, it's over. <laughs> <laughs> he yeah. got laid out. He got laid out. <laughs> It was like not nice. He went not nice, dog. Was, <laughs> hold on, was it a cheap shot? Uh, was, yeah, he was. He didn't see it coming by the white guy. It was yeah, yeah, he didn't see it coming. coming so, but he still went well, down. Well, when you do see it coming, Vince, one day <laughs> you'll be able to rewind and take. <laughs> Get I'm up grim. out of here, man. I'm grim. <laughs> And I hate the homies. And I hate the dude who hit me, Joe. Vince, hit us up. (laughs) We got questions for you. (laughs) It's your boy Super Dave, but guess what, y'all? We don't don't care. care. I'm going to have to vent this out with with Vince Carter. (laughs) And it's called Marquette, man. Marquette. (laughs) Vince with Vince. There it is, man. We don't, say, we don't say anything when he gets it wrong. All these numbers he's got wrong over the last. Hey, 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 hey Vent Carter, relax. <laughs> <laughs>
And you should. And, and, and uh, who? What number is uh? Isn't he ninety three? Big uh, Kong. Uh, Kong. What's his name? Uh, played with Detroit. Now he's with uh. He played with the Rams. With oh, uh, uh, come on, uh, come on. The Rams now. Poor, no, poor he, Shay. Poor. poor no, nah, he he went from Detroit. Then he went. He played a season or two with uh with Aaron Donald with the Rams. I can't remember who he's with oh, now. So, uh, and and Dominant Sue and or Dominant something. Sue. Yeah, <laughs> Dominant Sue. He's ninety three, ain't he? Um, I'm not sure, but ain't Charles Haley ninety four? He's yes. ninety four. So go ahead. Okay. Yeah. We ain't got to vent that. I'll have that ready for you next yeah. week. Yeah, <laughs> appreciate that. <laughs> Peace, fools. Holla. Ah, I hate the homies. <laughs> <laughs>